Hello everybody, my name is Alpha Mega Zulu, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Now, in the last video, we managed to join up with a group of caravanners, and they all died. Yep, they all straight up died. And if you'll excuse me, I'm just working on the audio here. There we go, I adjusted it properly. Alright, so, they all died, and we're left here in the middle of the Grand Canyon. And, yeah, that's pretty much where we left things off. And we met a legionnaire who got us some help from this guy who, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think we've even properly talked to this guy. Now that I think about it, have we even talked to him? What's his name? Fellow Chalk or something like that? I can't believe I didn't even bother trying to talk to him. What can I tell you? Follows Chalk. What's this obsession you seem to have with civilization? Let me tell you a story. When I was a boy, a man came through the valley with one of the caravans. Tall man, big mustache, carried a guitar. I asked what he did for his living, and the interpreter told me he was a singer. What is that? I asked. The man explained that he went from place to place and sang for people, who gave him food and shelter and care in return. I couldn't believe that there was a place in this world where a man could do that. I promised myself then that one day I'd explore that world myself. What does Joshua think of this? I, um, I haven't told him yet. Never had the growins. Really? Maybe I could talk to him about it for you. Be a neutral party. You'd do that? Sure. Sounds smart to me. He might not get so mad at you. Tell me a little about, about this area. Any interesting wildlife? Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew. My guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. Maybe I can help with that. Yeah? Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. What would you suggest I do instead? Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These bighorners go crazy for the stuff. Alright, I'll look into it. That's great. I'll help any way I can. Okay. I'd really actually not rather not do that mission. To be honest, it sounds kind of boring. Okay, so we're going to fast travel here. We're going to get over here and... Well, why is it raining all of a sudden? We didn't even travel that far. Alright, well... We need to head down here into this cavern. The Narrows. You gonna follow me or are you gonna be way back behind me? You gotta be careful, there's no telling how many bear traps they have lying around here, fucking assholes. Their damn bear traps. Any bear traps? No? Good. Oh, no, that's a dead horse tribal. Good. I guess we head deeper in here. Is that the person we need to meet? The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. 
The Sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone, even the White Legs. They have sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help, too. Joshua told me you need a few things. I think this is everything. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile, or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Anything I can do to help, I will. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who is within. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrow's hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Alright, Daniel has given some pre-war mining explosives and a special detonator for them. They aren't useful as weapons, but they could be used to collapse certain caves that proves necessary in your exploration. Okay. Well then, um, I should probably work on my explosives then. So who do I talk to? Mm -hmm. Who do I talk to? Walking Cloud. Walking Cloud. Okay, now I need to find this cloud person. Are they, are they in here? I don't... Nah, they're not... Or maybe they're in here, actually. Maybe I can cut across through the cave and meet up with her. Go! Oh, what the... I thought this was Dead Horse territory. I thought this was Dead Horse territory. I guess the White Legs are inside of it. That's just great. My collar's all messed up, and you know what? I'm just gonna leave it like this. Fuck me. I didn't realize. Now I know, though. Oh well. Okay. Let's try this. Gotta get up there. How do I get up there? And oh. you said that I was to travel with you until you have completed your Oh, journey. you are Cloud. Is this pleasing to you? Sounds good, let's go. Before we depart, our shaman, White Bird, asked me to convey his desire to speak with you. Any idea on what he wants? He did not say. White Bird is notoriously close-lipped. But he is wise. 
and you would do well to speak to him. Okay. Why do I need to? Fuck it. All right, let's talk to this guy. Where is he? He's over there. Ugh, fine. 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 Okay, so we'll head over here, talk to Whitebird, and then we'll continue on our way. I've never actually been to the Grand Canyon, but I've always wanted to. Into a white bird's cave. Hello there. Uh, what happened to your hand? Hola, oh, so it's just Welcome a claw of some kind. You come to receive visions of truth? Um, goodbye. I don't know what you mean by that. Take drugs, kill a bear, seek medicine plant, return with sacred datura root. Receive visions of truth. They guide you. I don't think that's how that works. I'm not doing anything for you. What if I don't want to do any of that? I really don't want to, but I guess I will. Return, maybe yes. Return, maybe no. But go. I don't want to do drugs for you, dude. Well, what... That sound again. I keep... Well, I mean, we are in the Grand Canyon. Fucking aliens. Am I right? Isn't the Grand Canyon, like, notice... Like, notable for having, like... Crazy people saying they've seen aliens around? Let's see. Fucking... Okay, we'll do this. We'll do it, guys. I don't want to, but we will. Nope, can't do it that way. Okay, looks like where we're going is over here. Yes, these are pets. Alright. Hold on now. What am I supposed to get? Oh, great. Okay. Ugh, fuck. Man. Seriously? Why can't they just have this shit on their own?
Don't tell me we gotta go up there. Come on. Yes. Out of the way, lady. Oh, you fuck. No. Okay, let's get the Datura fruit. Or the flower, whatever. <sighs> oh man, I almost thought we crashed right there. I was going to be really mad. Okay, let's return it to the damn shaman. Well, I took... I took 20 minutes just to figure out a way to get up here. I don't know why it took me that long. Not 20, more like... More like 15, but... <sighs> Fucking hell. I have to make this so fucking complicated to get across. Whatever. It's fine. We're good. We're all good. Probably gonna cut that out, though. Me just walking back and forth trying to figure out what ledge to jump on to get to the right spot. You get the fuck up, dude. Come on. Tell me to go out and do something and then you go fall asleep on me. Yeah, right. You have root of sacred datura? Yeah, sure. I have it. These roots make sacred vision tea. You drink... You see path before you. Ready? Mm, yeah, sure. Drink. Tea is strong. Tea is bitter. Wisdom is strong. Wisdom is bitter. You see? You go to cave. Find ghost of she. Lay ghost to rest. This your quest. Bring peace where was strife. Go. What? I like your bear glove. Where can I get one? A sorrow's Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own. And only after hunting and slaying a Yaogwai that threatened our people, our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. What's your deal? Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the Sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to Sorrows? Midwife? I haven't seen any children around. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the White Legs come for us in force. So, what do you do when you're not delivering babies? I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Let's talk about something else. What would you speak of? Like this fuzziness I'm seeing all, all over the place? Uh, it's getting really hard to... It's really annoying to look at. Um, do you have any family? I do. A fine husband and three children. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. Safe? Where are they? When we learned that Salt Upon Wounds had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. I try not to worry about them, but we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about it. Sad and... a little frightened. I could talk to him. Maybe he'll open up more to me. Perhaps he will. I sometimes feel he thinks he must protect me. If he has news, I would know of it. Give me some info on this Daniel. Who is he? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English from the Holy Books. Holy Books? Yes. The language of the New Canaanites is the Holy Tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The father in the caves brought it to them after the judgment, but the ancestors of the Sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Uh, okay. Have you known him long? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in 
and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. Let's talk about something else. What would you speak of? What do you know about saltopalm wounds? He is war chief of the White Legs, and the worst butcher of them all. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. Who or what is the father in the cave? Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. That doesn't sound like what I've heard about the new Canaanites. Perhaps you do not fully understand the new Canaanites. I have seen the father's images. His holy bride and holy son were given unto the world to save it. They dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. I see. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. His knowledge of the father is greater than my own. Okay. Tell me more about your tribe. We have dwelt in the narrows since the end that came in fire. When the father in the caves punished the world and made us forget the holy tongue. We have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. At least before salt upon wounds brought his white legs here. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the white legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. Okay. That's all I wanted for now. To our next speaking. This is weird. This is like trippy, man. Look at this. I can't even the the motion blur. It's like unbelievable. Wait, I need to go back in here. No, now it wants me to go back out here. What? Oh no, oh no, it wants me to go over here. Oh great, it wants me to, mm, okay, I gotta walk all the way back. I can't fast travel from this spot. This spot sucks, I can't fast travel from it. I have no idea why it won't let me fast travel. Is it considered the inside of a building? Cause it's not, we're still outside. Okay, guess I'll walk to wherever it is they want me to go. By the rivers of Babylon, there we Joshua. Down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Do you know what it means? That you're a bit nutty? I'm guessing you're pretty mad about something. The White Legs didn't just force my people out of New Canaan. They butchered everyone who wasn't fast enough to get away. The elderly, the ill, children, those who stopped to help the wounded. It made no difference to them. They can't be reasoned with. The White Legs. Daniel believes that if we leave, if the Sorrows leave, the White Legs will stop. He doesn't understand what this kind of tribe is like. 
What kind of trap is that? I do. They're little more than raiders of that. Then you must bear witness of this revelation to Daniel. The obviousness of it escapes him. We both desire a non-violent solution to this problem. Where we differ is that only one of us believes it is possible. Speak your heart to Daniel when the opportunity presents itself. There may yet be time to save Zion. Well, I hate to say it, but I think Joshua is right, actually, on that one. I don't think these guys are going to leave these people alone. Wow, this is fucking disturbing. Is that why I couldn't fast travel? That's why I couldn't fast travel, because they wanted me to be able to fucking talk to him. Okay, well, now that I have talked to him... This motion blur is going to make me sick. Oh, fuck me. There's three of them. Shit. 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 Fucking eight. Oh, fuck me! Where is my fucking partner? Where, where is she? Where is my fucking partner? I think she's fighting someone else. right in the face bullseye oh man okay wow where's my partner she completely knocked out is she dead i don't care let's just go because it doesn't matter she'll pop up eventually would have liked to oh there she is thanks for the help lady i'm so glad you were there to help me so glad she was there guys Help me fighting off those bears. So, this is the ghost of She's Lair. Never brave enough to try to fight. Shit! The ghost of She is a giant fucking bear. Oh my gosh! Are you fucking kidding me? 
How far did it put me back? I'm such a fucking idiot. Okay, I'm fucking back here. You know what I need to do? I need to fucking kill these stupid plants behind me because apparently... This is so fucking stupid. Oh, geckos this time. Okay. I can keep up this Oh, fuck off. These things, too? I just... I'm losing my mind right now. We, we barely gotten through anything in this episode. And I'm already 42 minutes in. Unfucking believable. How much shit? Okay, so plant people, fucking geckos, fucking bears, whatever, flaming bears. Sure, why not? I can totally. That's totally fair. Oh, this is the worst though. Oh, come on now. You're gonna throw that at me? Really? You're gonna fucking throw these fucking things at me? Found them. Come on, these are the. Gosh. I'm dead. I'm dead already. I'm dead. Yeah, I was dead. They put me up against the worst creature. These sting flies, or whatever the fuck you want to call them. Those are the worst. Those are absolutely the worst. The bears I can at least handle because they're slow. But those things are way faster. And they kill you just like that. Insta-death, almost. They get one sting in you and you're already at like half health. Just unbelievable. Unfucking believable that they would put me up against that. Okay. Let's think about this for a little bit. Alrighty then. Thank goodness for grenade launchers. Oh wait. Might as well keep it out because I'm still gonna need it here. 
Yep, I need to kill these things. Can she actually take them out? Can she? No? You able to get up? I don't think she's gonna be able to get up. There are no enemies nearby. Why is this telling me there are enemies nearby? Come on. There's an enemy over here, I guess. Was that sufficient? Nope. Fine. I'll deal with this myself. Yep. I'll deal with this myself then. Awesome. Okay. Alright, I think that was it. So now it will let us fast travel normally. Hopefully, now that we've done that, we won't have to worry about it anymore. That lady I was with, I swear, was just... She is not much help. And you're still asleep! Come on, man! Get your Does life together. Of she like quiet and grave? It's done. Then visions of truth are at an end. Will you learn from truth? Maybe yes, maybe no. Only for you to decide. Here, take. Gift. To remind you of visions, use well, or sell to cure your traitor. Either way, says much about you. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So I guess now we can actually get to some real quests. Hey Daniel, wake up. Wait, can I actually... Yes! Let me sleep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did we fucking sleep together? Okay. Daniel. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? Yeah, I've got uh, some questions. Tell me about the Walking Clouds family. What, um... What do you want to know, exactly? I'm sure she could tell you much better than I. 
She said one of her births was difficult and you helped her through it. Oh, well, that's true. Waking Cloud is a talented midwife. She certainly brought more children into the world than I have. But there are some problems she's never dealt with. One of them came up when she was having her third child, and I really didn't do much. I'm surprised she mentioned it. Okay, is there any way I can help the sorrows? If you could part with it, healing powder would be welcome. We have enough stim packs for now, but we can't rely on that small supply. Brock and Xander plants can be found throughout the valley. And you might even find some on white legs you come across. Okay. What do you do here? I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having, but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone, and it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. You said you used to... You said you used to help the Sorrows with a problem. What do you do now? I'm trying to make amends for allowing our problem to become their problem. The new Canaanites, I mean. The White Legs have always fought with us. And with Joshua returning, Caesar has motivated the White Legs to stamp out the new Canaanites entirely. That means the tribes we work with, too. It's already happened. I just want to prevent something terrible from happening to the Sorrows. Has this happened before? The White Legs attacking other tribes? Yes. But not just White Legs. Raiders, too. Prospectors. Slavers. Anyone who thinks they can exploit the ignorant and the innocent. We lost the tar walkers and the crazy horns. We did our best, but we made mistakes. We paid for them, but they paid more. I'd like to get out from under that debt someday. Until then, it's enough to stop ourselves from getting deeper in the hole. The white legs are here already. What's your plan? To remove the sorrows from harm's way. I have to give credit to the White Legs for finding their way here. Though I imagine many died in the process. But they can't follow us east. Not into the Grand Staircase. They don't know how to live off the land. We head there. We can find some safety. Let's talk about something else. Of course. Why are you so eager to evacuate Zion? You don't seem to be a pacifist. There's an old saying that goes... If you want peace, get ready for war. You've got me figured half right. I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp. But it's only to protect the Sorrows. The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the Sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I do. Since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out. Why do I get a feeling like you're not telling me everything? You're right to leave, but I don't think you should kill any of the white legs. That's an awful lot of responsibility to take on. If you're willing to defend the sorrows, why not pressure? Why not pursue the white legs? There is an important difference between killing in defense and waging war. Even a gentile like you should know that. Joshua's a new Canaanite, and he's obviously willing to attack the white legs. Joshua is a living Bible of all mankind's miseries of war. The debt he has levied through his actions, he repays every day. He is a monument both to God's unending forgiveness and to humanity's unfathomable capacity for cruelty. It's written on every inch of his body. When you look at him, do you only see a man of God? Beneath those bandages, he is burned flesh. As he burns, so does he consume everyone around him. Joshua wants to fight because the White Legs have stoked the naked flame inside of him. You, you see the light, but do not yet feel the heat. I can pray that you never will, but it isn't up to me, and it isn't up to God. It's up to Joshua. What do you know of the White Legs? They're hateful savages who live only to plunder and destroy. Their leader is a devil called Salt Upon Wounds. War is all he knows. Everything he has, everything that tribe has, was taken by force, raiding, and scavenging. It's said there's no man deadlier at close range. That that power fist of his has smashed a hundred skulls. Maybe that's true, but so what? It's a low form of leadership. A tribe that knows only war has no future. 
and so he'll lead them to Caesar. You know, Joshua might be crazy, but I do think he actually does have a point. You need to solve the problem now and not run away from it. Because they, yeah, you, you, your theory about them not being able to uh, cultivate the land is interesting, but I really do think they would follow you and kill you, regardless of where you go. What do you know about the father in the caves? Father in the... Oh, right. He's some spirit the Sorrows used to believe in. Watched over them from the caves in the valley. They marked some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside. I think as more of them learn the teachings of the new Canaanites, they'll lose their old superstitions. Uh, you might want to leave... You might want to have a chat with them. They think your lord and the father are the same. Oh? Oh, of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. No wonder they picked up on things so easily. I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. Okay, so yeah. it's a lot of religion getting flung around here, getting mixed up with each other. Uh, I need some medical assistance. Can you help? Nah. I should be able to address most. Uh, radiation sickness. Here's 300 caps. Fuck you. This Bye. Wound is grievous. I need help. Or, what are you doing up there? I'm glad to see you're still. With okay, us. it still tells me to talk to you. What do they want from me? I'm glad to see you're still with us. Well, okay. Uh, did you help the rest of her family leave Zion? I did. What's the matter? Did something happen? Her three children are safe. They made it north weeks ago and met up with new Canaanites heading east. Her husband didn't make it. He died protecting their children from a white leg attack. Do not tell Waking Cloud. She is one of the only sorrows who can communicate easily with us, and her tribe needs her to be strong right now. Uh, it's her husband. Don't you think she has a right to know? I don't think you should hide this from her, but I see your point. I won't say anything. It's her husband! To everything, there is a season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her now? You're the new Canaanite who's supposed to help lead people, not hide things from them. I know, you're right. I shouldn't have hidden it from her in the first place. I just... We can't fail here again. Zion can't become the next new Canaan. The Sorrows don't deserve that. They don't deserve any of this. Sometimes I look at them and wonder if they would have been better off if those old trails had stayed forgotten. If we had never found any of them. <sighs> Tell Waking Cloud if you think that's best. I won't stop you. Until then. So, uh, I guess you're single now, eh? Eh, 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 I'm so awful. Hey, uh, how about your husband? Uh, yeah, I'm afraid, uh, some bad shit happened. What? No. You must be mistaken. Daniel would have told me. I'm afraid so. Daniel kept it from you because he thought the grief would distract you. How dare he? What gives him the right? I thought Daniel was my friend, but he cares nothing for the sorrows. I agree, it was arrogant and cruel, not exactly the kind of thing a friend would do. Arrogant. Yes. I thought Daniel respected me. Saw the sorrows as he I'm gonna call it some shit here. <laughs> he manipulates us for his own ends. Yeah, fuck him. You're right. Now what are you gonna do about it? About Daniel? I don't yet know, but I am a woman of the sorrows, and I will have restitution for my husband. Oh, okay, I thought you were gonna kill him or something. Whatever. This wound is I need help. Well, fucking deal with it, lady. Ugh. This really doesn't seem like something I need to worry about in this video. I can probably do that quest, um, probably off screen, and it wouldn't make a bit of difference. So I'll do that one off screen. Show kill the white legs, planting the traps, summon the traps bridge. 
I could probably do that one off screen. I'm just looking for the ones that are really... Okay, that one's... Okay, this will be the one we focus on here. Let's see, what time are we on? Okay, we're going to do this one. And... No. Yeah, alright. See, some of these I won't even need to do on camera because they're just monotonous, um, just busy work. Nothing I need to really worry about because there's probably nothing story-wise about them. So I'll just do them off screen. Not be here. This place, it belongs to the father in the caves. We must not profane it with our touch. Let's just start pissing on the place. What are you talking about? I don't have time for your religious superstitions. It's just a cave. It is a holy place. If we go any deeper, we will suffer for it. No, we won't. Zion used to be a place of peace, you know. Daniel says that it is holy in the eyes of the Father. I hope someday you will see it as it was. <sighs> Lady, you're gonna have to just look at it for yourself. There's nothing superstitious about it, alright? It's just a cave. Perhaps there's a monster in it! That's true. It could be like some sort of a uh, creature in here. Oh! Oh! I've actually been here before. I just realized I have actually been here before. Nothing superstitious was ever in this cave. I know what this cave is. I I think, didn't we actually go here in the last episode? Or did I go here by myself while I was exploring this place? Either I went here by myself or not, but I'm pretty sure this is where actually people were when the bombs hit. Ow! Fucking bear traps! What the fuck? I can't remember if we came if if I came here in the last video or if uh, I don't know. But uh, I know I've been here, and up here is where um we discover that it really is. People were just hiding out here before the bombs hit. This wound is grievous. I need help. Would you shut up? Fuck. Let's sleep here. Yes, yes, yes. I already have all this information. Nah, I don't think I'll think about it much. I still need to get revenge on the guy who shot me in the head. Yeah, I wonder what time some of these DLCs take place within the context of the main story. Like, if this is all supposed to take place after our big battle at Hoover Dam or before. I don't know. Maybe it could go either way. Maybe we get different dialogues depending on if we've already beaten the game. Or before. I don't know. Oh shit. Fucking hell. I didn't realize there was going to be a creature right outside. Should have realized it. These fucking geckos, I swear. They're awful. <laughs> Hi.
Oh shit, I've been poisoned. Well, shit. Shit, I've been poisoned bad. Nope, no longer poison. Okay. Okay, this is... Oh. Okay, this is not necessary. We're actually not... Those tents down there. That is a white leg war camp. Do you see the war totems they've erected around the tents? We're, we're kind of in the middle of something here. Pray to them for strength and savagery before battle. This is no raiding band. Any advice on how to deal with the situation? So the totems are sacred to them somehow. Good to know. Yes. If their war totems were to disappear, they would likely lose the will to fight. Fucking weird. Okay, let's get down there and take care of business. I will follow your command, but I advise caution if it is possible. So, where are these war totems they told me about? Is that one right there? Oh, Father, guide and protect us, your humble children, as we labor in the vineyards, and make us strong to resist those who would steal Zion from us. Sure. No enemies nearby. You're tripping, game. There are no enemies nearby. Ooh, let's say can't travel because there's an enemy nearby. See that? Look at all the enemies nearby, guys. Look at all the enemies nearby. Oh my gosh. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> I hate it when the. Like, not just this game, Skyrim 2 does this sometimes, where they think enemies are nearby when literally no one is even remotely close to you. Okay. We're going to talk to Joshua. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Follows Chalk seems to be interested in seeing more of the world. I thought he might. It's been some time since I've visited civilized places. I don't have fond memories of them. But I have always seen these places from the outside. I'd rather not influence him more than I already do. Why don't you talk to him? 
Uh, you know that means I'm going to encourage him to leave, right? Follows Chalk needs more guidance in his life. Just not from me. Okay, well, what did you say about a courier? Who were you expecting earlier? Caesar would never admit this openly. But he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentarii and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory. But maybe this one survived. What do you know about salt upon wounds? He's a butcher. Believe me, I know the godless fire that burns in his heart. I've been burned by it myself. He's not the kind to let his subordinates do all the killing. No, he likes to have a hand in it, with that spear of his. He's fashioned himself an abomination before the eyes of the Lord. I'm happy to serve as an instrument of divine justice. Pray? God? What are you talking about? I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. Oh, well, if you say so. Whether there is a God or not, his existence doesn't depend on what you believe. Or what I say. There is much to be skeptical of in this world. So it no longer surprises me to learn how many people don't really believe in anything. But I believe that our Lord was made flesh as Jesus Christ and died to redeem me. And you. And the sorrows. Even the white legs. Everyone. So do you run the show around here? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is a spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. Do you have anything to trade? I don't really care. Uh, I have gear that needs repairs. Can I ask you some personal questions? It's not something I enjoy. But I pray to God that someone may learn from my mistakes. What would you like to know? Are you in much pain? Is there anything I can do to help? You are kind to offer. But no. There is nothing you can do. We don't use cabins. But I learned long ago that I'm immune to their effects. It never stops burning. My skin. Every day I have to unwind the bandages and replace them with fresh ones. Exposing my body to the air is like living through it again. But it's better to be clean than comfortable. Yikes. Goodbye. God be with you. Yeesh. Yeah, so you never want to get burnt alive, basically. It is not... Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the, I think that's a good, uh, message for this episode. Don't get burned alive, kids. It's, it's not pleasant. It's, it's not okay. Alright. You, you will almost wish you died. If not, you will probably end up wishing you just died. It is not okay. It is not pleasant at all. In any regard. Who am I needing to talk to? You. Yes. Good job getting those supplies to Daniel. If you were a dead horse, you'd get a tattoo for that. I don't want a tattoo. Talk to Joshua about your thoughts on civilization. Yeah? What did he say? He said he has a hard time being objective about the whole idea. I should give you advice. He said that? Well, I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? Civilization isn't perfect, but neither is tribal life. You should go see it for yourself. Really? You think so? Whew. Ah, that, 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 that. Do it. 
But if you do go out there, just realize you probably will die. Dankney, Akis, I never would have had the grounds to ask him myself. Yeah, that's the problem though. You're probably gonna die out there because you don't understand civilization. It'd probably be better if he just goes with me, but you know, they're not. I don't think they're gonna give me the option of that, so. Yeah. Talk. Hi. That's all I want. Okay, we're almost, um, at the end of this video. Hold on. Find a way up to the cliffs. What? Oh, oh, it's over here. Oh, okay. It's over here. Okay, that's why I didn't see it. Because I was looking over on the map on the other side. It's just up here. Wow, this looks ugly. Can I just say that? Like, look at this. Look at this whole map area. Or this whole environment. It looks so ugly. What? Is it just me? Or is the textures, like, just weird? Here. The green looks like ugly vomit colored. I don't know. It look it, I know I've seen the rest of these areas. Like this looks better all of a sudden. Maybe it's just in there that looks pretty ugly. Take a sip from my lucky 13 can. Okay. So. Okay, so I gotta get up there somehow. Really? Really? You really needed to do that? I know you are eager to leave Zion, but You keep asking me of that and my answer is still the same. No. Yes. Okay. Ah. Oh. What's this? Well, where do I get the fucking food that it wants? Oh. Where do I get the kind of food that it wants? Banana yaka fruit? I don't... I don't know. Hold on. Okay. Well, I found the thing. Okay, so it looks to me like the rest of this is just going to be busy work. Yeah. Alright. So, some of these missions I have here are literally just me killing more creatures, killing more white legs. Steal the white legs, war totems from the encampments, deal with the white legs camp. Yeah, okay, so that doesn't really seem like stuff that's going to be too interesting for a video because it just seems like tedious work. So, in the next episode, I will probably do all these uh, off camera so you guys don't have to worry about watching the same thing over and over again. So in the next video, we'll pick this right up right when we get to uh, the rest of the story, I guess you could say. Um, so if you like the video, make sure to like down below and subscribe for more awesome videos. And...
I will definitely continue this in the next video, and until then, see ya!